What up, nerds? This is Clay Cooper from Prep Expert. I've got a perfect score on the SAT and a perfect score on the ACT. And today I'm going to show you how to use the universal bulletproof fail safe can't mess it up unit conversion method. Unit conversion questions show up all over both the SAT and the ACT. You've got to be rock solid on these if you want to do well on the math section of either test. Fortunately, there is a great method we could use to solve any unit conversion question. So the method I'm about to show you, you may already be familiar with it. I call it the universal bulletproof fail safe can't mess it up unit conversion method. So if you master the universal bulletproof fail safe can't mess it up unit conversion method, then you should be able to answer any unit conversion problem no matter how difficult. This actually helped me on the SAT two days ago, this technique that I'm about to show you. It helped me answer a really difficult unit conversion question without even having to stress. I was able to zoom right through it. So you may be familiar with this technique from one of your science classes. It's often called uh, stoichiometry or dimensional analysis, but whatever you want to call it, master the technique I'm about to show you and it'll help you with any unit conversion question. Let's take a look at this problem. Harry has just discovered that he owns a vault containing 20,000 and 100 bronze nuts. He knows that 29 bronze nuts are worth one silver sickle, that there are 17 silver sickles to a gold galleon, and that gold galleons go for about $520 each if you can find a goblin, and that Bitcoin closed at $10,600 today. Harry's into crypto, so assuming he can find a goblin, how many Bitcoin can he buy? So it looks like they want us to convert in value between 20,000 and 100 bronze nuts and Bitcoin. We need to find out how many Bitcoin you can buy with 20,100 bronze nuts. So how do we do this? Step one of the universal fail safe bulletproof can't mess it up unit conversion method is write the quantity that you know on the left and include its units. In this case, its units are nuts, so I'll denote that with a K. So again, step one of the universal bulletproof fail safe can't mess it up unit conversion method is write the quantity that you know on the left and include its units. The next step is to write an equal sign and a blank and the units that you want on the right. In this case, we want Bitcoin. Now, I don't know what the unit symbol is for Bitcoin, but we'll use this fancy B that I've just drawn. So I've got 20,100 bronze knots on the left. That's step one. I've got the units that I want on the right, Bitcoin equals blank Bitcoin. Now what do I do? Now I'm going to multiply by a series of fractions. Each one of these fractions needs to be equal to one. Now let's talk for a moment about why each fraction needs to be equal to one. The point of making each fraction equal to one is that I do not want to change the value of Harry's money here. I'm not trying to find out a different value than the value he possesses. What I'm trying to do is express that same value, but in different units. So because I don't want to change the value, everything that I multiply needs to be equal to one. If you multiply any quantity by something that's equal to one, you don't change the value of the quantity. You just change the way it's expressed. So every ratio that I multiply by should be equal to one. How should we build the ratios? It's really easy. We're just going to let our units guide us let our units guide us. So for instance, right now in the quantity that we start with, what units do we have? We have bronze nuts. Do I want bronze nuts though in my answer? No, I don't. So how can I get rid of them? Well, they're currently in the numerator. So to get rid of them, I'll just put them in the denominator and now they'll cancel. Awesome. But what can I equate bronze nuts to so that I can complete this fraction in a way that's equal to one? Well, I know that 29 bronze nuts are worth one silver sickle. So I can say one silver sickle over 29 bronze nuts is equal to one. If one silver sickle is worth 29 bronze nuts, then one silver sickle divided by 29 bronze nuts is equal to one. So I've successfully moved one step closer to the units I want. All right, what do I do now? Just multiply by another fraction that's equal to one. In this case, I'm trying to get rid of sickles. So I'll put sickles in the denominator. All right, now sickles cancel. Now what can I convert to from sickles? I can convert to galleons from sickles. So I'll put galleons in the numerator. I know that uh, there are 17 silver sickles to a gold galleon. So one gold galleon is worth 17 silver sickles. And now that fraction is equal to one as well. All right, what can I convert galleons to? 
Not directly to Bitcoin quite yet, but I do know that gold galleons go for about $520 each if you can find a goblin. So in other words, I'll go ahead and put galleons in the denominator. How do I know it goes there? Because again, I'm trying to cancel the galleons that is in the numerator. So if I want to cancel one that's in the numerator, I got to add it to the denominator. So what goes in the numerator? Dollars. And I know that $520 are equal to one gold galleon. So that fraction is also equal to one. I'm almost home. I know that I want to convert to Bitcoin and that one Bitcoin costs $10,600. So I'll put dollars in the denominator again so that they cancel. And I'm in going to introduce Bitcoin into the numerator. So how can I equate these? I know that one Bitcoin is worth $10,600. Now, I've canceled every unit in this multiplication that I'm doing except Bitcoin. So the only unit that I have left is Bitcoin, and now I can just do the math. So what does it look like when I do the math? Well, in the numerator, I've got 20,100 times 520. And in the denominator, I've got 29 times 17 times 10,600. Now note, I left all of the math until the end here. I purposefully didn't do any of the math until I had my units completely worked out. Why is that? Well, that's because the math doesn't matter until you get the units right. There's no need to multiply 20,100 times anything until I'm certain that I'm going to be expressing the value in the correct units. Once I've gotten my units sorted out, then I'll worry about the math. And so, now let's worry about the math. If you calculate this out, what you'll find is that it comes out to right about 2 Bitcoin. So it looks like Harry's 20,100 bronze nuts are worth approximately two Bitcoin. If this were on the real SAT or ACT, they'd give you precise instructions about how to round your answer. Or they'd say to which of the following values is Harry's money value in Bitcoin closest. And one of the answers would be two. So they will give you exact instructions. But this is how you use the universal bulletproof, fail safe, can't mess it up unit conversion method. I can't encourage you highly enough to master this before your test day. And that's all I've got for you about how to use the universal bulletproof fail safe can mess it up unit conversion method. Please don't forget to throw us a like if you found this video helpful. You can also subscribe to Prep Experts YouTube channel for other videos just like this one. Leave us a comment too and let us know what you want to hear about in our next video. What do you want advice on from a two time perfect score? Let us know. We might feature your comment as the topic for our next video. You can also find a coupon code in the description for this video that will give you discounts on all of our products on our website prepexpert.com. You can use that coupon code to sign up for a course with myself or another instructor or to sign up for tutoring if you'd prefer that. So until next time, keep working hard.